Another application of linear equations is mixture problems. There is a particular formula in solving this kind of application which makes it special. You are watching Mathematics of Engineering. Mixture problems normally vary the concentration of a mixture or its quantity. So the fundamental formula to be applied is the combination of quantity and concentration in the first mix with a quantity times concentration in the second, which will yield the total quantity in a specific concentration. Let's solve the first example. A 50 milliliter 40% acid solution is added to a 50 milliliter 30% acid solution. What will be the concentration of the resulting mixture? Let's denote C as a concentration of the resulting mixture. Imploring the basic formula, we get 50 times 0.4 plus 50 times 0.3 is equal to 100 C, which then can be simplified as 35 is equal to 100 C. And dividing both sides by 100, we arrive at C equals to 0 0.35, or that is 35% concentration. Problem number two. How much of a 90% solution of insect spray must a farmer add to 200 cubic centimeters of a 40% insect spray to make a 50% solution of insect spray? If we let Q be the quantity of insect spray, we can arrive at the basic equation as 0.9Q plus 0.4 of 200 is equal to 0.5 of Q plus 200. And expanding, we have 0.9Q plus 80 is equal to 0.5Q plus 100. Arrange the terms and we get 0.4Q is equal to 20. Divide both sides by 0.4 and we get the value of Q as 50 cc. The third problem. A 700-pound alloy containing 50% tin and 25% lead is to be added with amounts of pure tin and pure lead to make an alloy which is 60% tin and 20% lead. Determine how much pure tin must be added. How much pure lead should be added? Let us denote T for the amount of tin and L for the amount of lead. Considering the original alloy, the tin content being 50% can tell us that the mass use is 350 pounds. 25% lead would also tell us that the alloy carries 175 pounds of lead. Let's formulate our equations. Separately, if we consider tin, we can check the total amount of tin in the alloy which will comprise 60% of the total mass. By expanding the terms, we get T plus 350 is equal to 0.6 of T plus 0.6 L plus 420. And arrange terms, we come up with 0.4 T is equal to 0.6 L plus 70. Now divide both sides by 0.4 to get T is equal to 1.5 L plus 175. Let's consider this the first equation. Let's do the same process using lead. The amount of lead in the new alloy is 20%, thus the translation would be such. Expanding the equation, we get L plus 175 is equal to 0.2T plus 0.2L plus 140. And rearranging the terms again, we would get 0.8L less 0.2T is equal to negative 35. Let's keep this as equation 2. By substituting equation 1 into equation 2, we would have 0.8L less 0.2 times 1.5L plus 175 is equal to negative 35. Expanding the terms, we arrive at 0.5L less 35 is equal to negative 35. And after rearranging, we come up with lead amount equal to 0. Now, we can solve the amount of tin. 
using L is equal to 0 in equation 1, we get T is equal to 1.5 times 0 plus 175, where T becomes 175 pounds.